Hi there, let's see what's new in version 0.44 of AnyType Desktop. So we finally have simple formulas in AnyType, which means if you love spreadsheets like I do, then you can finally do your calculations in your AnyType space. So I've got a set here for the Harry Potter budget. And in this area, you can see I, on the settings, you can see I'm in the grid view. It looks like a spreadsheet or a database. And if you click on the relation or property here on the title uh, on the top bar, then you can see at the bottom of this pop-up menu, there are some options for different formulas. So I'm going to go with count, which basically gives you the total number that are within this grid or set. You can see it's a little bit off because the alignment is to the right, whereas everything else is aligned left. So I'm just going to adjust the width of my column by dragging it over up here. Now, if you want to use math, um, you need to make a, another relation and make sure that is the type of relation, which is a number. So you can filter through with some of the pre-made ones here. Um, I have one called budget and it has the number sign in front of it. So if you have that, you can only input numbers into the values here. So I fill that out and then again, click on the title of the relation. You'll see number calculations. And this time I'm going to select sum. And so because I use positive and negative numbers, you will see what the balance is here in sum. Again, it's uh, right aligned. So I'm just going to adjust the width of my column here. All right, and the next feature that is a part of this 044 update is date as an object. And with this update, we've got some new choices for date format. So I'm just going to jump into a different set that has a preset date on it. And so this relation is just called date and you can see it's March 28th of 2024. So it's in the text format. I'm going to jump over to the bottom left to my settings and then go to preferences. And then now we have a lot of different choices under date and time. So you can change your date format. If you just click here, you'll see the pop-up menu. And now I have an option to do the date month year in numeric format. So I'm going to select that and go back. And then when I click on it, it automatically changed to the date month year format. So um, I do want to show you the calendar view. So if you are in a setter collection, change your view to calendar or add a new view. And then you can see there are some options here under date relations. So I've got it currently set to last modified date. And we're going to keep it at that. And when you click on the date, it's going to show you again those three categories because those are the ones that actually have entries for this date. So the other thing you can do with this new date feature is that you can use the at symbol to mention a date within the body of your page or object. If you start typing, it should pop up with a date picker menu and then it will look like this. It will have like an underlined link. And when you click on it, it goes back again to that date page where it lists everything for that specific date. There are additional quality of life and bug fixes that happened with this update. A lot of good stuff, especially if something was really driving you nuts in any type, it probably got fixed in this latest update. And I do have one more thing I want to mention. I am launching an AnyType Beginners program at the end of December. So if you want more details on the exact date it's launching, please sign up for my newsletter listed here and there is a link in the video description and comments below.